Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. Don't stand, don't stand like that. I'm gonna, because we're back. <laughs> We're back. The boys are back. Although to them, we never left. Yeah, we haven't recorded in a while. Yeah, and and you were you were feeling a little sicky, sicky, poo poo. Yeah, How you, you probably feeling? hear it in my voice right now. I've I, I self diagnosed flu. I guess I don't know. I, it must have been. Yeah. You took your negative neggy neggy baby on the Covey. Yeah. So you're okay in that regard. Yeah, I mean, I was still I, sick. I was worried about you. I wanted to come by and nurse you back to health. Yeah. W- no. Uh, I, <laughs> no, but I was I was very sick. I was having hallucinations at night. I if was, you if it meant, here's a serious question. Yeah. If it meant that you would be like fixed the same day. Yeah. Would you breastfeed again? Again. Yeah. Oh, like go to my mom's. Go house. to your mom and be like, "Mommy, Daddy needs." Well, don't call yourself Daddy. No. <laughs> <That would be weird. laughs> but like, if like it meant like you would get fixed immediately because breast milk is like a superpower at this point right. in time. You know, like the antibodies, all that shit. It's it's wild what that shit does. I know because I'm a man. I know this stuff. Yeah. Um. But if it meant like you would have been better immediately, like all better, non-infectious, non-contagious, blah 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 blah. I, I think in a would you would you. Obviously, with your mom's consent, would you no. breastfeed again? Jeez, that was very PC of you. <laughs> Obviously, dude, it's her fucking tit. Um, I, if it, if we lived in a world where that was like cool, then probably. Yeah. I mean, who said it's not? No one would know. Oh, you're saying? It's yeah, not. dude, you can't just suck your mom's tit at 31 years old. You're saying it's not? Yeah, I'm saying that's not cool. Mm. Yeah, definitely not. How cool. old is too old? Well, for one, she doesn't lactate, so I'd probably be sucking dust. Here. Listen to me right now. You suck hard enough, something will come out, all right? That's just the way the, the brain works. Yeah, what? Blood? I don't... You can trick a woman's brain. I know how much you love to do that. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> you can trick a woman's brain. It must be amazing to be married to you. No, like, there's... You can manipulate a woman no. if you try hard enough. <laughs> There are stories out there that like oh, no, no. Uh, I've never done this out there. Yeah, you think I'm doing this? There are stories out there that like hot start. By the way, welcome welcome to 2024. How you doing? Um, there are stories out there that suggest that if you like suck a booby hard enough, yeah. like a woman will eventually lactate. Their brain is just like whoa, 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 dude. My mom's 70. Not yet. Your mom is 70? She's not 70. She looks good for 70, dude. She's not 70. I just said oh, that. okay. <laughs> I was exaggeration. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's she, getting what, close. She's 64? No, she, uh, 66. What year? I don't know. You don't know what year your mom was born? I don't know anything about my parents, really. Oh. <laughs> no, my mom, like, yeah, I, you know what? I, I don't know. I don't know anything you about You don't them. know anything. I don't know that I... How much do you think you know about your parents? Like, percentage-wise, seriously. I mean, I know... I know nothing. I know, yeah, percent in the grand scheme of things, I know what they've much. told me, which is nothing. Yeah, and they, my, my dad often... I'd be like, Dad, why don't you tell me stories? He's like, Frank, I'll tell you what I die in. I was like, well, that might... You might not be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's afraid... He always told me, because my dad has done some some stuff. I know, like, stories, memories and Yeah, stuff. but like, but like, my dad has done some stuff, and he's outright told us that he doesn't tell us a lot. Right. And like, I'll be like, come on, like, give us something. He's like, no, I want you to get any ideas. I'm like, I'm 31. Yeah. I have three children. Right. I am, <laughs> I'm in the, the, I am in a great stage of my life. I am not going to start doing just like random yeah. things. Oh, my dad did that. I'm going to go I'm gonna, crash You know what? Car. Let me go. Yeah. yeah. Like he, he's all over the place. Yeah. I don't know anything about my parents really. I, I, I mean, I know when my parents were born. I know their years. birthdays. I know. I think, I think one of them. When's your dad's birthday? June. 26. Okay. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> give me more. Ask me the zodiac sign. I have no idea. Yeah. Frank. Okay. I have all right. no clue. I think that's cancer. Great. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't buy, you know, I'm not, I'm not tuned in with all that stuff. I'm not tapped into the stars as well. Uh, but you, and you don't know what year. You don't know how old, who's older, your mom or your dad? That's also a good question. You don't know this? That's are you a fair serious? Question. It's a fair question to be asking. How about this? Do you know how old your parents were when they had their first child? Know what? What? Frank, why would I know that if I don't even know the the fucking year? Because sometimes it's one sometimes of them. One of them was born in fifty five. They may be the same age too. That oh. might be a thing. Really? Yeah, but I don't know. Oh man, you need to. I don't know for cert. You need to kind of figure this stuff out. You should know this stuff. Like, what happens? My mom might be sixty seven. God forbid. I'm yes. sure your siblings have this information. Mm-hmm. But God forbid. I can go figure it out. Okay, good. But if you give me like five, I can go figure it out. I, I'm going to give you a week to figure all this shit out. Oh, I can figure it I out. I want a book report next week on your parents. I could do it. How they met, all that stuff. Yeah, school. I think my parents met at a bar. Nice. How'd that work out? Yeah. Well, 
<laughs> uh, but what were we talking about? You said you oh, were the talking sucking, about manipulating the sucking, of, women. the sucking of the boobies. Yeah, you the want sucking. to manipulate a woman. Go ahead. I'm not, no, 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 no. Now you're putting words in my mouth. If but I, I'm asking if you'd put boobies in yours. I would. I if I lived if we lived in a world where you know women just were lactating their entire lives and it was normal for you well, to get sick and then go get some you know super milk. Then to maybe. my understanding, seriously, like a woman could. In theory, okay, breastfeed but, forever. But that doesn't change my like, answer. If you had never stopped breastfeeding, like you'd still be breastfeeding to this day. Is that true? Yeah, I think I think it's just like well, the eventually your your body's like we're not we're not doing babies I th- anymore. I, I mean, I'm sure at a certain point, yeah. I think the ducks, the, the ducks, ducks, the, the ducks, like ducks. Just, they just dry how up. How do you pronounce that word? Duck, 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 duck. But how do you say it? Multiple. Plural. <laughs> Plural. Oh, <laughs> mm, you just offended. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I meant. No, I meant multiple ducts. Yeah, I, I get it. You're like octopi. The octopi. <laughs> We're back. I'm sweating already. Yeah, I bit... probably still have a fever, dude. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you wouldn't. Are you listening, bro? <laughs> like I'm saying, I'm just answer. saying, like if it was like the cure to all disease, how do we know? Yes, yes, and yes. How do we? But listen to what I'm asking. How no. do we know that the cure to all diseases is not right there in titty milk? We know that. No, no, no. But like I'm talking like how bad we, shit. No, but we we knew, we don't know that. We do. We don't know that. We do. We don't know that. Yeah. We know that it's not there. No, we. Know, how no. do we know? Because we've probably tested. Hit up like people at like Sloan Kettering and see like have you? I'll, I'll text Sloan. I'll text, <laughs> text Sloan, Sloan Kettering and Kettering. Yeah. And see if they've like just tried out breast milk. Regardless, <laughs> we have better things to talk about. Uh, just like the, the main thing right now that we want to talk about. <laughs> our girl is free. Listen, <laughs> we've been saying this for Gypsy years. Gypsy motherfucking Rose. Listen, she's out. She's living it up. And yeah. who's got it better right now than Gypsy Rose? Oh, I would say a few people. I mean, she's got a record. <laughs> yeah, she does. she does have a criminal record. <laughs> yeah. She is a felon. Yeah. A former fe- Well, so I guess that stays with you for life. Yeah. Uh, but we've been saying it for years now. Free our girl Gypsy Rose. I don't think I've ever been on record saying that. I think, I but think I, you have. I, I have videos of have. you saying that. I don't, I don't know that you I have. You threw up gang signs and you said, free my girl Gypsy Rose. <laughs> What was the thing? Her mom, she suffered from Munchausen by proxy. Munchausen's by proxy, yeah. Which her, is a delicious sounding... Munchausen's? It sounds like a, like a German steakhouse. Yeah. Oh my God. Like Come I on said, in the Munchausen. <laughs> Where are you going to eat when you go over there? Munchausen's. <laughs> Munchausen's yeah, by... Yeah, you're going to tell me that's... Where like, is it? By proxy. <laughs> yeah. That's a horrible joke. I think it sounds, I think it sounds pretty good. Yeah. But for those of you guys that don't know, there's yeah. a documentary out there that can kind of bring you up to speed. Mommy Dead and Dearest. It's on uh, H- uh, Max. What? Change the fucking uh, name to yeah, that. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's like whatever. P. Diddy, that app. Jesus. Oh. HBO, HBO Max, HBO. Careful. Care- oh, careful, 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 careful. <laughs> we didn't bring up P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you couldn't have fucking stumbled into a worse way to connect that than uh, something. Uh, but uh, basically, her mom had convinced her or I guess convinced the world that she had every illness under the sun, mm-hmm. was like, needed to be in a wheelchair, needed to get multiple surgeries. It's a, it's a really interesting, fucked up fucking story. fucked up documentary. Go watch it. But what happened was, she, with her then boyfriend? Yes, or, then boyfriend. Husband, she met online. No, it was her boyfriend. It was her boyfriend. They conspired and murdered her mom. Fire. I don't know who did the murdering. I haven't watched it in a while. The boyfriend. Okay. Stabbed her up. You got to be less, a little more sensitive to a loss of life than uh, that. Well, I mean, oh, you're also not- they asked the the woman's parents, so like her mom, so her grandparents, mm-hmm. they asked uh, them, "Do you think she got what she deserved?" And they were like, "Yeah." <sighs> and the, yo, fucking fucked. Up. Yo, it's a gangster fucking story, honestly. But like, then, so apparently, this is not the only time that she's done like fucked up shit. She's been like fucked up her whole life, and like whatever. Gypsy Rose or her mom? No, 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 her mom. Gotcha. Uh, and uh, her, her mom, when she died, they cremated her, and they were like, "What should we do with the ashes?" Dumped them. They were like, "Flush them." <laughs> they said, "Flush them, dude." If they you get the same em. treatment as a dead goldfish, you know you're a piece of shit. I'm too pussy. You know what I mean? If someone did that to me my entire life, I'd still be afraid to flush them because I'm afraid of getting haunted. 
Oh, that's a good point, dude. That's that's a really I don't really have good a point. Spirit. Yeah, afterlife. I get that, but like, just give, do something with it. I mean, if you, you could have put that in like the Museum of Crime or something. Like that'd be really interesting, you know? Is that a museum? I think there's gotta be a like. I always think of like the the show Black Mirror. And the episode Black Museum, where it's just like a, mu- a collection of all like the stuff, the fucked up shit from the episodes. Right. And like, you know that there's some true crime podcaster or like fucking museum of like evil shit out there that'd be like, yo, we'll give you a lot of money for those ashes. I think it's just like, you know, specific to the, the Smithsonian. Crime. They have like Bill Cosby sweaters in there. They'll take fucking mommy's ashes. Yeah, but they have those sweaters before all the stuff. Still, still have them though. Still stuff. It's still stuff though. Yeah, you know. It's fair. But shout out to Gypsy Rose, man. She got out. She posted on Instagram five days ago, I think, from t- when we're recording. I think she posted her first like selfie. It was like, ooh, first selfie with freedom. Seven million fucking likes on it. Girl's she has six million followers on Instagram. The girl's out doing better than us. And she's got a husband. And I wonder because they made a, a, a YouTube. Uh, no, I think it was on Hulu. I don't know if it was a docu series or a, not a docu series, like a scripted series or a movie. But they made it on her starring, I think it was like Joey King or Zoe King, or an actress. But does she get money from that or no because she's in prison? Or is it like put in a trust? For what, the documentary? For like the movie or show that was made about her life. It was a doc. No, no, no. There was also a scripted. Oh, was there? Yeah. And uh, I imagine she would get some sort of like. But like this girl came out and like she's getting a second chance of life, which honestly. Let's fucking go. She got 10 years. I think she served like eight of them or something. Yeah, she got out on good good behavior because right. she was just like, it's a really fucked up, you know, don't take it don't take it from us. Like, go <laughs> do your own research. Like, we're not going to sit here and delve through. kill her mom. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kind of fucked up. Kill your mom, dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But like, if your mom's parents say like, eh, it's all right. And like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Where's Gypsy's dad? That was the thing too. Alive and well. Chilling. And she even said in the documentary, she's like, I should have called my dad and just went there. You know what the crazy part about this entire thing is? It's like she, her mom was telling, like, she was telling her, like, when she, they would go to the doctor, like, don't move your legs. Because she was tr- convincing everyone that her daughter couldn't walk and she was in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you know, bro, she was at, like, Disney yeah. getting, like, free trips, like, Make-A-Wish and stuff like that. I don't know if Make-A-Wish specifically, but you know yeah. what I'm saying. It was They were getting, like, grants and, and, and whatever. But, uh... But then she would sneak out, and she she's like run away run away from home before, and so in my head, and I granted this is probably a very small town, so the houses are kind of like apart or whatever. But she was walking around, like if she was running to her friend's house, she wasn't wheeling over there. She was like running, <laughs> Yo, she could go. This whole thing is crazy. So the first thing this girl does, she gets out, goes on social media, boom, starts blowing up, six mil. You know, crazy. You know there are companies that are just like, hey, do you mind? Uh, she's about to drop a tummy to you. Oh she's my make god, bank. yeah. Bro, she's, I'm buying it. You you already know she's gonna be working for these pyramid scheme, like you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was so miserable. And then I got out and I tried this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but and then she wanted to go see Taylor Swift. Yep. Shows you the power of Taylor, baby. This, I mean, the first thing you do when you get out of prison is you want to go to fucking meet T Swizzle. Well, I'm sure she fucking rode her husband into Kingdom Come because they were talking about it on social media. Yeah, she first of all. <laughs> <laughs> this. So after the whole story. Is you know her ex boyfriend? She basically hired her ex boyfriend as a life, hitman. Life in prison, yeah. by the way. Okay, fine, whatever. Who cares about him? He's a guy. Um, <laughs> her new husband, yeah, showed up to pick her up in a in a in a with a license plate thing that said Brett. It was like a Brett the Hitman heart. Hmm. So, <laughs> Bad choice of uh, read the room, plate. dude. He looks like a nerdy dude. Dude, so pumped. He's also writing letters to prisoners. Yeah, the, 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 the you know, like, <laughs> what? what? But they got married while she was in prison. Well, it was like, the, the who was the woman that married Charles Manson? Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Before he died, there was like a woman who was just like, he's actually really sweet. And it's like, he has a swastika. If you can look forehead. past, <laughs> if you can look past a swastika that is <laughs> etched into his forehead, he's a nice guy. If you can look past <laughs> the carved fucking symbol of hate. He's a nice guy. Yeah, like, what are we doing here? <laughs> but, yeah, I think this one would make a little more sense. Yeah, and apparently her husband was getting some hate on social media, uh, and she decided to leave this comment where she was like, 
don't, it was like this long thing. And it was like, don't listen to the haters. If they're saying positive things, then, you know, just take that love in. But if they're saying negative things, just ignore them because you're great no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah. And also like, you're rocking my world every night. The dick is fire. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Gypsy Rose was like, yeah, you like fucking, you guys are saying all this shit about my husband, but he fucks me great. Dude, wild. Like, Absolute, well, absolutely insane. Yeah, dude. It's like, just, she came out, she went in a girl, came out a woman, basically. She gets fucking fucked rotten, is what happens. Rotten. And then he You could have used any other term there, Joey. He got, yeah, I don't know. But he fucked, uh, he fucked. He commented back. He replied to that and said something like, basically like, oh, come, come and get it. Damn, Damn, dude. You are horny. <laughs> From the other room. You know what I mean? Like, they probably didn't get conjugal vis visits. No, know? they definitely got conjugal visits. She's a fucking murderer, dude. I mean, she can't. I mean, she technically didn't commit the murder. It's fair. So fair. maybe they would have been like, yeah, all right. You know, yeah. like, if they had, like, tried her and she was like, yeah. Like, I think that was a big part of it. Is, like, she showed remorse. And she said, like, listen, like, realistically, 100%. my mom, my mom didn't gyps. deserve it. Gypsy. Okay, okay, careful. Gypsy. Careful. I'm too gypsy. <laughs> careful there, Joey. No, gypsy like, Rose. Let's yeah, specify gypsy that. Rose. Yeah. Gypsy Rose something. Yeah. But, and then also, for, one of the first places she went when she came out? Burger King. I would. Wouldn't? I would. Oh, 100% would. Dude. Yeah, yeah. If I'm locked up, you best believe. I want some stupid shit. I want some fat fucking burgers. I'm getting one of those angry Five Guys burgers that are just like put together oh. like they're falling apart. You know what I'm saying? I love those. And they throw the fries in the bag, oh. and it's just like, and there's, there's no, there's no rules. There's no. Place. It is literally. If you want to know what the Wild West was, <sighs> go to fucking Five Guys and just order the sloppiest burger that is just basically still just fucking screaming at you, and enjoy every second of it. They have a guy hired at Five Guys in the back. I've been there, and there's a guy who they've just hired to sit in the back, and then after they make the burgers, he just goes like this. <laughs> And he smashes the fucking burger. Because <laughs> those things are smashed, dude. And then they throw it in a fucking bag with all the fucking <laughs> with all the fries. <laughs> and then you just enjoy that shit, dude. He's, he's just the, the elbow back. guy. He's just in the back just dropping the macho man elbow on these fucking dude, he's burgers. he's fucking them up. It's dude. crazy. And then who's, there's a guy, there's like a fucking like XMLB pitcher just tossing french fries into a fucking <laughs> paper thin bag Ugh. you hold up the bag it's just wet with grease yeah. <laughs> like, they're like you want fries bang and they just fucking launch them into the, the yeah. bag it's honestly kind of insane but yeah shout out to gypsy rose man we're big fans um what's what's honestly if you're gonna pick one fast food spot to go to after you get out of prison and get the just the sloppiest order where are you going because Burger King's on my list. I'm not even going to lie. A fucking double Whopper with cheese and bacon. I might have to sit down, sit and spin, and fuck it up. <laughs> sit and spin. Uh, I, I'm more of a McDonald's girl. I oh. might go to McDonald's, get a burger, uh, mad fries, get a shake. A uh, shake. Honestly, out of prison, I might get a shake and a soda. I don't know the last time I even ordered like a fountain soda. Oh. But I would get a fountain soda. Fountain soda is the best soda. It's like a thing Beck and I do on the first day, on New Year's Day. Because I, I like to go as long as I can without having, like, junk, like, fast food and shit. So mm -hmm. I, we, we try to get it on New Year's Day. And I got a fuck. We got Wendy's. Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. No, I went fucking Dave's single. Where which is, is like the, It's like their quarter pounder. Who's Dave? Dave, dude. Who's Dave? <laughs> you don't know Dave? No. Dave, Dave is the Wendy's guy. The old white guy. That was Dave. What do you mean? What do you mean? Who the fuck is Dave? I thought mean? it was Wendy, bro. Wendy. Wendy, Wendy's on the face, but you don't remember the commercials with Dave, dude? The old white guy? You don't remember this? You don't remember Dave? No, old white guy. <laughs> yeah, Dave, dude. Dave's Dave's double. Dave's single. Oh, Dave, Dave's Who is triple. it, though, to Wendy? Is that he like... was, I think it was Wendy's dad. Dave. No, Dave. From dude, the, dude, even, Dave, dude. I believe you. Dude. But I don't, I don't know this. I don't know who fuck Dave is. I've only been to Wendy's like three times in my life. Dave, Dave Parker, I think his name was. Dave, Dave Parker. Dave Parker, I think. She's Wendy Parker? No, Dave Parker was a baseball player. Um, <laughs> Wendy's. Dave Thomas, dude. You don't remember Dave Thomas? Dave, dude. Who the fuck is that? What do you mean who the fuck is Dave? You keep saying that. <laughs> it's, it's, he's, he is Wendy's, but he is Dave. Okay. I can't believe it. So Dave's double. I never, I never heard of that. That's wild. That's unbelievable that you don't remember that. Yeah. But yeah, I think I might do Taco Bell. <sighs> yeah. Would you get those Doritos Los Tacos? No, 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 no. I get... Quesadilla. No, no. 
Can you just slow down and let me tell you what my order would be? I like guessing. Okay. I, okay. Soft shell? Are you soft shell or hard shell? G g anything that you are doing right now is literally the opposite of what I'm asking you. That was a question. Soft shell or hard shell? I could dabble with a little bit of both. Mm, I, I go like both hard, ways. I don't like a hard shell. I go both ways if I need to. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> you know? This just in. <laughs> with tacos. <clears throat> with tacos, I go both ways, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, like you're, like you're okay with like everything, you know? <laughs> so what were you going to say? <laughs> so what's this order, you bastard? All right. Cheesy Gordita Crunch, no spicy ranch. Why not? I don't like the spicy ranch. It tastes like mustard to me. Okay. A fat Crunch Wrap Supreme. Ooh, and those are listen, good. I'm going to get, before Joey gets in the ads, because I know they're coming, I'm going to get on my soapbox right now. Taco Bell, what's up with this meat that's in, there's not enough meat in these Crunch Wrap Supremes. Put more meat. Look at the picture. You, you see how much meat's them. in that picture? I should fucking bite it and be stuffed with meat. But that doesn't happen. <laughs> what? Stuffed with meat. Frank needs to be stuffed with meat. Taco Bell. What yeah, the Taco fuck? Bell. Uh, give me, if you're going to say there's meat, give I want. Give me fat meat. Uh, give me, wait, 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 wait. Stuff no, with no, fat no, meat. no, 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 no. <laughs> now I know what you're doing. Cut it out. I'm talking Taco Bell. Let him suck a fat no, meat. No, no. <laughs> No, but I agree with you. They get in there with like a little fucking a thimble. They're like, ooh. Yeah. Put a little me, meat in get a ladle. Listen, ladle I'm this not thing going out. to Taco Bell to be like conservative with my meat. I like 2,000 calories I, minimum. Bingo. I want fucking fat meats and I want them <laughs> just sloppy and I want them in a Taco Bell Crunch Wrap and Supreme. And cheesy. And, and like well put together. I can't tell you how many I've had that have been folded up like an envelope. I want it like... <laughs> Origami, like, ugh. you know what I'm talking about? I like, like that. you know, like they do that, like fold under and over shit. That's what I want. Taco Bell, figure it out. Get to these ads. Go ahead. I do like when it, like, they like are a little off center, so it looks like it's like turning, like a spin. What's that called? Spiral. Spiral? <laughs> I don't know. I'm having cold sweats at the moment. <laughs> uh, we do have some ads for today. <laughs> we have some ads for today. Pit a pit. Has hot and a Juan. <laughs> Not, not a person at the moment. Uh, we do have some answers today. The first one being Dr. Squatch. You guessed it, okay? They make the best soap in the game. I've been using it uh, all week to keep my body clean from all the germs that I am currently giving off, okay? Uh, Dr. Squatch, uh, they have no harmful ingredients. And I'm, if you're like me, I don't like to use uh, ingredients. Or I try to use as many, um, you know, like soaps or shampoos or you know, things like that that don't have harmful ingredients. Um, and Dr. Squatch is one of those. They have no harmful ingredients, but they're high performance natural products uh, and they smell amazing. So like, it's like a sensory experience when you're using this soap. Um, they have one uh, pine tar, they have cool fresh aloe. Uh, you put it on your body and all of a sudden you feel like you're in the middle of the forest bathing in a waterfall, okay? It's an incredible experience. And you can save some money here. Right now, uh, Dr. Squatch is offering huge savings for our listeners. Uh, you get three free bars of soap when you uh, purchase any three bars, okay? So go to drsquatch.com slash basement to receive this buy three, get three offer. That is D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H dot com slash basement to buy three soaps and get three for free, all right? So get to Dr. Squatch. Uh, get yourself some soaps and listen, you get six bars of soap there. That's going to last you a long time. You don't even have to think about soap ever again. You get these lovely pieces of soap, uh, these lovely bricks of soap with a lovely sen sensory experience. Every single time you take a shower, it is amazing. So go to drsquatch.com slash basement, get those three free soaps when you buy three, uh, now. Okay. So enjoy. Uh, and next here we have FitBot, FitBot, it's the new year. Everyone has that resolution. This is the year we're gonna get in shape and FitBot's gonna help you do that no matter what your uh, experience level is um, with fitness. If you've never worked out before, or if you have really high experience, um, FitBot's gonna help you either way because they make programs that are catered to your abilities and your access to equipment. So if you don't have access to a, a gym membership or you don't have access to any sort of free weights in your own house or anything like that, they still have programs that they can make for you. They have programs um, that you can do just body weight stuff. They have programs that were just, just dumbbells. Or if you have full access to a gym, they could also uh, make a program for you with that. And also it depends on your uh, goals. If you want to put on mass, if you want to lose weight, if you want to you know lean out or whatever, uh, they will make some you know, 
program for you. Uh, and it also, like I said, if you don't have a lot of experience, it doesn't matter. Uh, they have over a thousand demonstration videos, so they will teach you these workouts as you are going through your program. So it's also it could be a learning experience. And listen, stuff like this, if you want to do a personal trainer, that is going to be way more expensive. Uh, this is a fraction of the price, and you can get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbot.me slash basement, okay? That is F-I-T-B-O D dot M E uh, slash basement, and you will get 25% off your subscription, um, or, and, or try the app for free. Okay. So let's get in shape this year. Yeah, that's a really good idea. You know what else we should do this year? A new little new year's resolution for you. You should go to the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Ladies and gentlemen, you like us, right? We like you. And if you want more of us in more with you all the time, uh, please help me uh, go to patreon.com slash the basement yard and you can get more of us. That's right. You get exclusive weekly episodes if you sign up for that second tier. And that first tier, oh yeah, well, not only do you get more of us, uh, but you get it sooner. That's right. You get these weekly episodes one week in advance. Seven whole days. So Monday, you get the basement yard the week prior. It's a little saucy. It's a little spicy. You definitely want to check it out. And then that second tier, like I said, exclusive episodes. So if you don't know where to find it, I'm going to tell you right now, patreon.com slash the basement yard. We cannot thank you for the incredible growth and success that we had in 2023. We have high hopes for 2024, and we are very appreciative of those who have gotten us to where we are and those who will continue to get us to where we want to be. But also, go to the new website. That's right, babies. That's right. Go check it out. <laughs> Thebasementyard.com. Not only can you sign up for email notifications to get notification on future events, because, yeah, we got the Basement Yard experience going on after those first three shows. Maybe there'll be more. You never know. Uh, that's where you can find the Patreon. That's where you can find links to merch. That's where you can find pictures of Joey and I looking nice and handsome. Go check it out. And uh, this is going to be uh, for our patrons available before our first show, right? This will be out after that, too. Before the first show. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> if you are coming to the Basement Yard Experience shows and you go uh, to the website, you'll find, uh, I believe there's a link to the form that they can complete because our shows are going to be interactive. Thebasementyard.com slash submit. There it is. That's, that's, the, that's what you I was... You can also go to the Basement Yard and click on the little... You find your way. It's 2024. Yeah. Websites are not new. Figure it out. You know, you can find your way around a porn tube, right? That's enough. <laughs> So go check it out, thebasementyard.com. Yeah, so go to basementyard.com slash submit, fill out the form. We're going to be asking you guys some questions. We want to field some stuff. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. We want you guys to be a part of the, all the shows and the experience there. Uh, but yeah, um, anyway, definitely wanted to talk about something. Christmas just passed, and apparently right before the show, Frankie let me know that Christmas time is actually the most one of the most likely times for you to break your dick. Break your pee-pee, yeah. We all hear this story about people like, oh, like they fucking, she broke my dick in half. We don't all hear. I've never heard anyone you've say never that in my life. That story? No. I, that's a story that people. You've never heard anyone say, like, yo, they fucking worked that shit and broke it in half. No. <laughs> I love no. how people say, like, they know their way around a dick as if there's anything more. Like, it's a dick. It you're doesn't take dick. much. That's the way. That's the way. <laughs> they know their way around it. Like, no, they just. Or she sucks a mean one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they suck. They suck a mean people. No one ever called my dick mean. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, it's the cutest little thing I've ever seen. <laughs> mean. That's a mean looking dick. Yeah. Who? And like, I don't know if I'd want my dick to be mean. I'd want it to be like a kind-hearted. No, I, I wish it was meaner. Really? Yeah. Just like angry. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I'd like people... like a piercing in it. You're like fucking tattoo it. I, I like. I want it to be like. That's a really like. It has a good heart, good soul, old soul. I did see a. Uh oh, here we go. You saw a porno. You saw a porno. Here goes porn, Joe. Go go ahead, porno boy. <laughs> no, I saw a video one time. Don't say video. Say what it was. It wasn't. I mean, I guess it was a porn. It was an adult entertainment, fucking adult entertainment. What are you, four hundred and eight years old? <laughs> Shut up. Was it a triple X video? <laughs> Stupid old fuck. It was, um, but there's some scantily clad men and women in it. <laughs> no, it was a guy getting his yeah dick tattooed. What? Oh, that's not what I thought. I thought yeah, like <laughs> he went, yeah, you know, like he was getting you know as they call it polished spit shine. Oh no, but like so she was holding his dick like this. It was a woman. I don't like this transaction. I don't. And then she's tattooing the top of it. What is she putting on it? Like a tribal. Oh <gasps> no! Yeah, like a like a like 
Tyson was he a face. white man? Yeah. Let me tell you something right now. I'm going to tell you something. As someone who has family that has tribal tattoos, if you know someone that is not in a tribe, and I'm talking like First Nation, Native American, Indigenous, if you know someone that is in none of those things and they have tribal tattoos, run away as fast as you can. Especially if they got them on their dick. But the reason why I brought that up. What a wild thing. Because she was doing it and then she'd suck it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not, the, not the tattoo part. Doesn't matter what part. Why are you, why are you, why are you making that reaction? Because they it's all like other. swollen and wet now. What? No. I've never gotten a tattoo. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I have zero tattoos. She wasn't sucking where she was doing. So she was like, kind of like kissing around it? It was like the tip. She was like, Meh. and then she was tattooing the rest of it. I was like, what am I doing? Why are you, why? why well, it's because Tom, sometimes. You, you mean, had a click on it. You clicked <laughs> on it. So I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Did you jerk off to it? No. Be honest. No. So you just watched it for what? Good old shits and gigs? Because because of stuff like this where I get to talk about it now. Because uh, you don't see that. And go, don't sit here and make it seem like you watch porn for fucking like research for the show. Frank, I am a you know what? researcher. I, I think that might be a good Patreon episode. I'm going to send you out there a week. Send me out go where? Send you out in the field. And I want you to, to find the strangest videos you can. They're out there, babe. The t- I'm, I, I'm very captivated by titles. Really? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. But like, are they like the like really like assholey porn titles where it's just like little little chola baby girl is leaving the favela and she is out <laughs> looking for fucking hamburguesa pipi, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it can be like a little like hint of racism in there. Yeah, the- <laughs> I saw that. There's a documentary called After Porn Ends. There's a couple of them, <laughs> but they're very, very, very like good. They're just like sad, and in one one of the epi- like there's one of the iterations. She's like, it's like the only place you could still get away with like blatant racism and yeah. like of like insensitive and fucking like absolutely offensive verbiage. Like if they were, they gave the example of like it was like a black woman, you know, and like a gang of like white men and like a gangbang. And they were like, the white protectors go after this, ho-, you know, it's like, Ugh. like, what's wrong with people? Hood rat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they said, like, shit like that. It's fucked up. It's fucking, what's going on? It's where are the so- standards and, and, and like, <laughs> where are the standards <laughs> of the porn industry? I just want to know who started that. Like, why would you do that? Um, well, because they're assholes. I mean. I mean, you know, that's kind of what it is. Anyway. But, yeah, so apparently the uh, I saw something that said... People are breaking their dicks during Christmas. Yes. So, hold on, let me scroll away from Dave Thomas, the uh, owner and operator of the Wendy's food chain. Um, but uh, now i got to find it. Oh, God, Joey, why do you got to put me on the spot like No that? one's putting you on the spot. You could have done that in a completely okay, different okay, way. Okay, okay, okay. Shut up, dude. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, there was a German study. Uh, oh, the, Germans were doing this? Yeah, dude. And you know the Germans are snapping cocks left and right out there. Probably, At, yeah. at Munchhausen's. Yeah, Munchhausen's by proxy. <laughs> um, the hospital data for about 3,400 men in Germany who sustained penile fractures between 2005 and 2021. The most common times for these fractures, um, the most common time was weekends. Getting Duh. after it. Duh. What are you, who's That's fucking? fucking. Yeah, dude. I mean, you know, Tuesday sex is not as good as like Saturday sex. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Kidding. It's all great. It's all good. Uh, but then uh, summer was the most common uh, like season. Okay, yeah. But I've then seen. the most common holiday it's cr- was Christmas, dude. Interesting. A German Christmas. 43% more penile fractures would have occurred in Germany from 2005 on during Christmas. That is insane. New Year's, normal level. What about Christmas got people, like, they're really excited for Santa, and they're just like, fucking, gotta get this over with, you know? I think it's just like, ride me like a sleigh or something. Oh, I didn't even think of that. You think they're doing, like, horny, like, Santa sex like hay talk? rides or something. Hay rides is Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> well, yeah. Hay, hay rides is... Well, Thanksgiving. Who does a Thanksgiving hay ride? Hay rides are supposed to be haunted. That's why they're done during 
Halloween. That's literally not true. Hay rides are like for Christmas, uh, for Thanksgiving time. No, d- Thanksgiving time. It's about not moving. It's about eating and staying still. No. If you're moving, you're running. And no, doing it's hay. about hay and pumpkins nah, 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 and nah, nah, squash nah, nah. and gourds. Squash and gourds is correct, but definitely not hay rides, dude. Yeah. Who the fuck is doing a hay ride in Hall- in Thanksgiving? I've done multiple hay rides. Only one of them has ever been haunted. But it was during Halloween. No, it wasn't. All your hay rides have been done during Halloween. I. No, they haven't, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I just think that there. It makes more sense, like. If, like, these things were getting broken when, like, it's, like, a slipperier season, you know? Like, if it's, like, hot outside and, like, like 4th of July has got to be broken dicks left and right. I think it's more about when people are excited. Like, when you're home for the holidays and you're seeing your You're going to tell me down in fucking, you know, Tennessee they're not pumped for 4th of July and then they're just snapping cocks? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, you're agreeing with me? I think so. I think I get why you would think that, but I, I mean, it's interesting. That Wait Christmas... a second. The study was done in Germany. What's, what holidays do they have in the summer over there? Because what are our, ger- our holidays during the summer are like American holidays. You know, 4th of July, Memorial Day, technically not the summer, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. What, what summer holidays do they have in Germany? I think they just like have sick raves that people are getting fucking railed at. Really? Yeah. They love raves. They do. All Europeans love just like laser shows. I think shows. like the best nightclubs in the world are in Berlin or something. Really? I think so, yeah. I, th- that is but such they're like a, deep that fucking That is such EDM. an oxymoron to me because there is like all nightclubs sound like an absolute nightmare to me right now. Those ones are like nuts looking. Like it's like deep house fucking strobe lights warehouse it's like that metal door that has the rivets and it only has yes. the eye thing that you could slide open they're like password yeah <laughs> <laughs> right like that's what i imagine nightclubs in europe are password <laughs> and the password is just like you know like a little stroop waffle and they're like answer <laughs> and then it's just lights and cages and yes and like just like shit like that the, there was a there was a video i saw of this kid who was trying to get into this club uh, apparently it's like the most famous club in the world or like the hardest club to get into or something like that. Uh, and it just looks like an abandoned building. And I, I believe it's in Berlin. And he waited on the line for almost two hours, I think. Um, and people can wait on that line up to four hours just to get in there. And he was refused at the door. Cause like the, the guy at the front, the like bouncers or whatever, will just like say no and like say nothing else. We'll just be like, yes or no. And just no. Damn. No. Like for anyone, he's like, and the kid was like, they were refusing girls. Who's in, who's in that night? Who runs that nightclub? You know, is this is this how like have the Nazis stuck around and like now they're running that nightclub and they're just kind of like letting in the people they want? You know it's what I'm saying? Up, messed up to Germans, dude. <laughs> uh, it's Let a them joke. Live. Sorry, Germans. Let them live. Okay. I'm sorry. That was over seventy years. How long ago was that? <sighs> Almost eighty. Uh, over eighty. Almost eighty. Over no, well thirty nine. Thirty nine was thirty nine started it. It ended in 45? Yeah. Oh, so we're only counting at the end? That's fair. <laughs> it was, it was, no, I'm saying that's when you could be like, okay, you're done. Oh, I, I mean, I, obviously I'm not holding the current Germans accountable for what was done <laughs> by their, you know, predecessors. Don't worry, Germany. I got your back. I do too, dude. Joey's always supported Germany. All right. During the World Cup, I mean. I hated Germany during the World Cup. Oh, really? I hated everyone So now you World hate Cup. Germany. It, during the World Cup, yeah. <laughs> you were very patriotic during <laughs> the World Cup. That's what I'm patriotic during was, the World Cup. That was like the peak of your patriotism. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I gave up fucking pancakes forever when, or uh, waffles, I should say, after Belgium beat the U.S. that one year. I was like. That's not, a, that's not serious, right? Swear to God. Wait, so you, you in protest of Belgium beating the U.S. didn't have waffles? Didn't have Belgian waffles at diners for like. Is that at least two months. I was just saying, is that something you do often? <laughs> I actually haven't had a Belgian waffle in a while. I almost got one the other day. Almost didn't. L- listen, I will cry. I, will I got a fat. California omelet. I will. <laughs> oh my God, I hate that. Because I know, know what's what, in it. I can guarantee you I know what's in it. What's in it? Avocado. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> what Toma- else? Tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm also correct. Yeah. Uh, you know why I know? Because all like California style like omelets or burgers or sandwiches are like the like pinnacle of health for some reason. Like a New Yorker is just like, there's roast beef and there's cheese and there's Thousand <laughs> Island dressing. You know, and then California is like, we have fresh herbs and avocado and tomato and like maybe some mushrooms or something healthy. And then like Philly is like, oh yeah, guess what we got? Cheese. We got cheese. And meat. And steak. And more cheese. Yeah. 
<laughs> Chicago, we got a full fucking pizza on this egg, bitch. Uh, but I, I, I pretty yeah, sure. Chicago style pizza is insane to me. I know. If we ever do a show over there, cheese pie, we have to. We also Detroit. Apparently, After Detroit the show. Yeah, well, yeah, because we would want to walk. I'll die. <laughs> I'll shit on stage, dude. Uh, you sh- you'll never shit again with all that. I didn't cheese. even think about that till right now. What if I'm on stage and I have to take a dump? <laughs> you You're go. gonna have to hold it down. I'll, I'll hold it down. I'll fucking <laughs> chop it up. I'll start like. Guys, fuck. I'm gonna be completely honest with you right now. If I don't shit, it's gonna get crazy out here. I might. Here's a serious question. Not a question. It was a statement. I might like rip a Celsius like early in the morning of the show. <laughs> I'm gonna say rip a fart. No. I might just rip a fucking. I might fart. like rip a Celsius the morning of the show just to, like confirm that I've used the bathroom. You know. Oh, like get it all out. Get it all. Like just like make sure like I'm done. You know. Could just have a coffee. I don't drink coffee. Correct. Why? I just have no desire to. <laughs> it's not I, fucking. I just have no desire. I. I. It, it's honestly. It's like a fuck you thing. Now you're just like, I'm never going to have yeah, it. Yeah. Like have this, you ever had coffee? Of course. Like Becca's asked me to take a sip of her fucking like, you know, dunka punka munka lattes or that's whatever. coffee though. I know. I know. But like, that's really it. She's and it really all it stems from two dunka places. Munka. <laughs> <laughs> it stems from two places. And it's no, this is not an exaggeration. And yeah. I know you will know this. It stems from when I worked. Uh, during the years where I did the like electri- uh, electrical union stuff, mm-hmm. there was a guy who, in hindsight, was a raging alcoholic. But like I see him, and if he didn't have his coffee, his day was ruined because he was putting something in it. But Got at the it. time, I was just like, I don't want coffee to have that kind of control over me. And then when I was in college, people would say to me, like, you want a coffee? Like, oh, I don't drink coffee. Like, oh, you're going to need it. You're gonna need it for I your hated degree. That too. You're gonna need it. You're going your master's. You're gonna need it. You're gonna. And I, I was like, oh well, now fuck you. I'm not gonna lie. I did take pride in being like, I don't, I don't need co- like the way that people need coffee. Like I don't need coffee. I don't either. So, but that's not the reason why I started drinking it. I started. And I also, just for the record, I don't need like any caffeine. I wake up pretty yeah, energized. Either. Like I'm good to go. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it either. The reason why I started drinking it was because on cold days. It is a comfort thing. I get that. To like sit on the couch and be like, yeah. I think there's a certain sense of nice. like a like a camaraderie. Like if you could sit down and have a cup of coffee with someone, it, it kind of like acts as like a bit of a breaking of the ice. It's like you know what it is. It's the same reason why I like going out for drinks with somebody. Mm-hmm. It's like you could sit there, you're drinking something, it's hot, and like you're just having a conversation. Yeah. Because otherwise, like, what are we doing? We're watching TV. We're not really talking. Yeah, exactly. Like for some reason, humans like you know conversating over. Yeah, it's, it's, it 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 just. I, I get what you're saying. I, I I see what you're saying. You know, yeah. maybe I'll have a cup of tea with you one day. I'll do that. I've been I've been drinking green tea lately, bitch. I need to get you the good stuff, though. You know, shit is like, green as fuck. I need to get you the good stuff, baby. You know, I'm not really good at drinking tea. I can make the tea. I'm not good at drinking it. Though. How does that make sense? You have a mouth. You have a fucking hand. Yeah, I just it sits, and then I go what. And then I don't like I've forgotten to drink a full tea before. That's stupid. It sits there, but I like having it there, and I like watching it smoke. You like the like the like water <laughs> yeah. vapor dancing on top. I yeah, like that. Too. And I'm like, and I'm like, well, it's way too hot. And then by the time there's no more vapor, oh, it's I'm way like, too cold. It's way too- <laughs> I'm fucking Goldilocks with my tea. Yeah, I get that. Um, it happens. Yeah, dicks break at Christmas. Yeah, dicks breaking at Christmas really, uh, it's really a crazy thing. Um, before we get to my. <laughs> favorite story this week we are gonna finish up the ads here the first one being liquid iv liquid iv has been saving my life because like i said i've been sick um and liquid iv is putting electrolytes back in my body um but with liquid iv it's going to help hydrate you um they come in little packets you open them up you put them in a glass of water stir it up uh, and you drink it it's got three times uh the amount of electrolytes as leading sports drinks um and no artificial sweeteners and zero sugar, eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Um, and it's really good. They have great flavors. Uh, right now I'm, I'm running through the grape pack. Uh, I ran through a, a watermelon pack and a strawberry pack. Lemon lime also, I have that next up. So when I'm done with this one, that's where I'm jumping to next. Um, but I try to pop one. If I'm not feeling too well, or I feel like, oh, I didn't drink enough water yesterday or something like that, I'll do this kind of boost it, get myself back into the rhythm of being um, you know, hydrated. So liquid IV, uh, is how I do that. I usually take them on trips. Also, they'll have them always in my to- toiletry bag just in case. Um, but yeah, you can go get yourself 
uh, some liquid IV. Uh, they have um, at Costco um, in bulk, uh, nationwide at Costco, where you get 20% off of your first order when you go to liquidiv.com uh, and use the code BASEMENT at checkout, okay? So go to liquidiv.com, uh, you get 20% off of your first order and uh, use that code BASEMENT to get that 20% off, okay? And that's 20% saving a good chunk of change right there, all right? So go to Liquid IV and get yourself some, uh, some Liquid IV, liquidiv.com, uh, or you can get it at Costco. I've done that also, so go check that out. And lastly, we have Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix uh, is great. Uh, this year you can make great style effort, uh, effortlessly. Um, you can have great style, I should say, I, I, I should say effortlessly with Stitch Fix. Uh, it's basically like having your own stylist. You go on, you fill out their style quiz, and then they, um, they get to work. They start pulling some items from a, you know, a bunch of brands that you know and love, and they send them to you, and then you pay for what you keep. And yeah, uh, you can like think of them as like a partner, all right? So you kind of fill it out. You tell them, this is the kind of stuff I like. This is the kind of fit I wear. Um, and then they will send you stuff, and then it's awesome. You can get them. I, I believe you can do it as frequently as you want. Also in, in, inclusive of size, extra small to 3XL. Uh, they'll find your perfect fit. Um, but yeah, if you don't love something, just send it back. Uh, shipping and returns and exchanges are always free, so it's nice. You know, you get new clothes. You can keep your wardrobe up to date uh, with Stitch Fix. It's a really cool service. I love doing it. Um, so yeah. Uh, they'll get uh, try today at stitchfix.com slash basement and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. So fill out the quiz, you get everything, you keep it all, you get 25% off. So that is stitchfix.com slash basement and you will get that 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Go enjoy, okay? Uh, stitchfix.com slash basement. Boom. Boom, bang, boom. Boom, uh, bang, boom. So... <laughs> When I told Joey about this, he literally, I'm not even kidding, laughed uncontrollably. It's not, it's not funny, but it made me laugh. It is funny. So this is, a, reportedly it happened four years ago, but it just became like viral on social media. And it is a video of a surgeon uh, punching an 80, um, an 80 year old patient in the middle of surgery. <laughs> Oh, dude. So the story goes. I'm having a nervous laugh reaction to that, dude. Because Frankie's like, just like, <laughs> before we record episodes, he's just like going over, like, we'll just like go back and forth with like ideas of like, oh, what about this thing? It's like, oh, we gotta talk about Gypsy Rose, and then he's just reading headlines, and then he just goes <laughs> nonchalantly. <laughs> says, Doctor punches 82 year old uh, woman in the face during surgery. <laughs> Like, why would the doctor do that? Listen, it is what it is, you know? It's how you tell it how you see it. It's like a patient just laying there. He's like, fuck you. No, so the story goes that uh, <laughs> reportedly the woman was given local anesthesia for a procedure. I think it was like a LASIK or something to do with their eyes. And as a result of the reaction, she was unable to stop, like, twitching. And the doctor in Chinese, excuse me, not a language, in Mandarin, had said, like, Hey, stop moving. But Chinese isn't a language? No, it's like there's it, Mandarin is a language and there's another. I don't think there's like a Chinese language because they speak so many different types. Oh, that's a news. Yeah, I could be wrong, but um, I'm going to pretend like I'm not. Got so, it. <laughs> but he spoke to her and said like, don't, don't stop moving. But she didn't understand because she spoke a different dialect. Mm -hmm. So then he fucking... Just, just like, just a cup, just like a quick three piece he gave this poor woman. <laughs> dude, dude, more times now one. you've never been in surgery, right? No. You've never undergone surgery? No. Dude, from someone who's undergone a handful of surgeries, you, it's such like a, like you need to come to a place of just like, I'm putting my life in these people's hands. Even if it's something minor, like colonoscopy, like something could go wrong technically, but it probably won't, you know? So like the fact that this poor fucking woman is just sitting there getting her eyes worked on and bro, I would... If I was this woman, I would have gotten up the next moment I did, and I would have beat the dog shit out of this doctor. Oh, you're a doctor, and you punch someone who's under anesthesia. Well, it was That's like insane. local. It was local anesthesia. So my understanding is she was awake. Okay, what's the difference? Like, Ge so general anesthesia means like you're sleeping. Yeah. Like you are out. So is this just like local anesthesia? Mean, like. 
Kind of, yeah. So, like, local anesthesia is, like, I, I have to operate on your arm, so I'm going to numb your arm. We're going to dead your arm. Yeah. De well, de de deading is not You know what I mean? A like, verb. It's, it's like you can't move it. Paralyzed. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, a, like think of, like, a, an epidural. Yeah, yeah. I believe that's a form of local anesthesia. Epidurals. Wild. They go in the spine? Wild, dude. In the spine, right? Yeah. That's so scary. Dude. I'd be like, don't stab my spine. Dude. Where do they put it? Show me what happens because I know you were. Did, did Becca get Becca got, you know, two for when she gave birth to Maeve and Ruby. I don't know about Miles. I think she did with Miles, but. So is it a big? Um, It ain't a little. Perfect. Put it like that. And it goes in your, in your spine, dude. How do they, how do they know where it goes? There's something that the doctors do. Don't ask do me. Do they like get a ruler? She like, yeah. So she like has to like. Like, sit hunched over. So we could see her spine. Yeah. Ew, I don't like that. And they have to, like, look and go, like, you know, bunk, 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 bunk. They count? I think they there's, like, a certain vertebrae to, like, do it. I don't think they can just go, like, anywhere. I think it's, yeah, like... Yeah, me neither. I, I think it's, like, a certain specific one. And then, like, they, like, they like take a little out, pull a little... And it's like heroin. Wait, what? I think... <laughs> I don't know if that's what heroin's like. Have you ever seen like a junkie shoot up in like a documentary or something? I was gonna say no, I haven't. <laughs> like a doc um, they like they pull out and then they shoot it back in. Do they? I've never seen these documentaries, no. dude. But okay, so they they tap in. Also, spinal fluid. There's fluid in there. Oh yeah. Didn't it'll fuck up your day if that stuff comes out. That's what happened when Becca had the 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 headaches during Ruby's birth because they took the fluid out. Because like fluid would not stop leaking, so they had to do something called blood patches. What's that? They had to take blood from other part of her body and, and pump it into her spine. Is the spinal fluid blood? No. It's like clear. Yeah, it's fucking wild. It dude. just stays in the spine? It's it's just there. It's bro, the body is the yo, body's crazy. Dude. I don't know why. The body's crazy. By the way, not doctors. Could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm picturing spinal fluid to be like but cloudy. Not cloudy, but like sparkly. Ooh, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> you know, like What's that vodka that's got like the... Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's got like gold flakes yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Gold, gold schlager. Yeah, go, that's probably not it. Uh, but it's like, <laughs> it looks like that. And it's like all... Like, I would like it if my bodily fluid had a little like, pizzazz. Like Austin Powers mojo, like that. Dude, if my bodily fluid had mo like, it was like purple and like it looked like a galaxy, I'd be so pumped. That's what I'm picturing. I, you, I swear to God, after I watched Austin Powers, I was like, oh, the mojo's real stuff. Like, I thought that's what, like, it, like, everyone. That's spinal fluid. <laughs> but I, no, but, like, I thought that was, like, real stuff that people could, like, extract and give to other people. That's stupid. Well, I was nine. Forgive me. Nine's old. <laughs> it is a little old. It is. It's, it's, a little, it's a little old. But. You thought someone did it. So I, I thought when I saw that big syringe with his fucking mojo in it, I was like, oh shit, they took his penis out or something. Took his penis I thought they out. took his penis or like his mojo. Frankie's getting blood tests. He's like, don't well, because do that. he's having sex and then his dick stops working. <laughs> well, what, what do you want me to say? He also probably did a really good job painting a picture of his mojo being like his penis. Dude. I can picture you getting a blood test after watching that movie as a kid. I'd be like, don't take too much. Don't out take of my mojo. I might not be able to talk to girls after this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I really thought the problem was my mojo when I was not fucking talking to girls at the age of nine. I don't even know what a mojo is. What does that stand for? Is that an acronym or something? I don't know. What is mojo? It's like, it's like Riz. What is mojo? Mojo is like Riz for like men in like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. But is it like a motion Joe? I, I don't know. Yeah, why is it? Urban Dictionary. Urban. That's where we're getting our answer. I'm going to go to the regular uh, my dictionary. My ass is swampy. It's like fucking Shrek and Donkey back there. The back of my knees are pulled. I'd give you no joke. 50 bucks to just take a whiff of my ass right now. Frankie, I'm not doing <laughs> such things. Why isn't my password working? I just typed in way too many. Do letters. you want me to send you a whiff? Hold on. Frankie. <laughs> Don't you fuck Hold on. There. Hold on. Just, I'm, I'm kicking it up. Thank you. Are you I'm getting it? No, I'm not. Thank okay. God. Well, right. I'm also congested. That was a joke for our visual watchers. What does... Wait, what? <laughs> mojo... Visual watchers. What does mojo mean? Magic charm? Oh, is this some, like, from, like witch doctor shit? Is that offensive? Mobile journalist? No, that's... <laughs> Oh no, they took Austin Powers' mobile, mobile journalist. <laughs> he's got no mobile journalism. <laughs> uh, I don't think I don't think it's Urban like, Dictionary. You type it in? 
It's You'll like just say like be able to get pussy. I, I th- but I think it's like the same as Riz. But like before Riz was a word, it was Mojo, and then it was Swag. Is Mojo, a Joey. Is, is it an acronym that I'm looking for? I don't know. It's an adjective. It describes no, something. Pronoun. No? no. What are all these things? What's the thing? What's the, it's like when to the describe letters. a person, place, or thing. No. Oh, uh, 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 an uh, ac- not acronym. Euphemism. No, that's not it. What is an acronym? These are tough. An abbreviation formed in the initial letters. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so is Mojo an acronym? I typed that in. It doesn't come up. So. All right, did you did you do the one thing I asked and go to Urban Dictionary and type it in? No. I think it's like it was Mojo and then it became Swag and now it's Riz. What are you asking me to do? Why do you want me to look it up? It'll be in there. See what the word, like what the actual definition is. Urban Dictionary. I can't spell dictionary for the life of me. What's going on? Uh, Mojo. Mojo is a noun originally used to mean a magic charm or spell. Okay, so then yeah, like charisma, riz, swag. Some voodoo shit. Okay, uh, now... It means your influence, confidence, or personal charisma. There it is. So Mojo was riz for your, the boomer generation. For sex appeal. Yeah. So like before your grandfather was going home and beating your grandmother for not having his martini shaken... <laughs> He had mojo. <laughs> That's crazy. That's what it was. Oh, I'm going to go home and ask my mom that. If what? But you think grandpa ever hit grandma? Why are you going to stir that up? <laughs> yeah, they're both dead. I probably should let that one go. Yeah, let them rest, dude. You were just saying you don't want to get haunted. Your grandpa's going to be like, let them rest. They've slept long enough. <laughs> Joseph. He's going to fucking beat you from the grave, dude. Imagine. That's crazy. I, I imagine there was some form of domestic violence. Not funny. <laughs> Why? Because they're Irish? Racist. No, I was going to say in, in that generation, it was like riddled with it. It was like a fucking pandemic. I really don't think so. I feel like I would know if that was a thing. You know nothing about your own parents. You think you know more <laughs> about your grandparents than your own parents? Here's what I know about my grandma. Tough bitch. You just called her a bitch. Yeah, but if I did call her that in person, she probably would have threw her fucking teeth at me. I I've met I met your grandmother. She was too sweet. How could anyone put their like that would be so mean, dude? She's yelled at me. Really? Yeah. Well, I had you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in the it's in the rear view. I now. did. I said she's. Yeah, she's, she's been gone what ten years now? Twelve years? Eleven. Twenty thirteen. Twelve. So twelve years almost. Yeah, well, we're we're right here. Like, I think she died in. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know what month. I have the mask card somewhere. I'm sure I could find it. Yeah, I'm sure I have it too. I'm afraid to throw those out. I, I don't. I, I I don't throw out any of them. And I also take like seven. Like I take too many. <laughs> I take just, one. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. You know, I don't know you why. Take multiple mask I'm not, cards? Listen, I'm very well aware that that is not a like logical thing to do. Mm-hmm. But like I do it. Do you write in the book? Uh, Yeah. I don't write in the book. I did when we were younger. Like, what was I going to write? Like, Frankie Facts 2, you know? Like, now. What's your name? <laughs> but I'm saying, like, now. Like, I went to one, like, a wake over the summer, and I wrote, you know, the Alvarez family and, you know, stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't write in the book. You should. I don't even, whose book? What's the book? The book is, like, for the family to send, like, a thank you for your condolences. You're going to go through the book. Some people do go through the book to see who showed up. Have you ever went through a book? Oh, I don't think I have. I've never even seen a book outside of there where it's sta- where it is. No, I think they, they, they get the book. You get the book. I'm sure you get it, but no one looks at the book. I think you get the book to see who showed up and say like, oh, shit. Use your eyes. So-and-so didn't show up, but then you, they, maybe they didn't write in the book. It's like, no, I would have remembered, so then you don't need the book. So you write in the book and you leave. I did my part. I guess so, yeah. Eh. Those things are wild, dude. Wakes. <laughs> It's crazy. That body over there. It's crazy. I mean, who's talking here? That body. So back to the doctor that hit the old woman. Yeah. This happened four years ago. The doctor was suspended. The head of the hospital was, I think, removed from his position. And they offered, rightfully so, they offered a, a you know, compensation to the woman because of what happened. What, Her a, son a said- A free steak lo- dinner? Uh, well, basically, 50 bucks. No. I think, actually, the conversion is like 70 bucks. $70. <laughs> Bro, if you're hitting my grandmother or my mom for $70... I'm taking the hospital down. Oh, yeah. You're going for the whole... You're, you're clearing it out and you're taking all them out? Yeah. It's going to be like... That should be like I the next... I just watched like, John Wick yesterday. I was just going to say, that should be the next John Wick. 
It's yeah. just like, you know, like, oh, they hit my mom for, and they gave her 70 bucks and you just go and you just full on John Wick it. I never saw John Wick. That was the first time. That's the movie that if you were to ask me, like, what is one movie Joey will fall in love with? It's John Wick. Because you like would go to like a dark place, be like, yeah. And like you look at Charlie and you're just like, mm-hmm. If someone killed my dog in front of me. Yeah. Goodbye to who you know. Yeah. Because <laughs> someone's getting tortured. Yeah, that's the thing. Right like, to prison. I would go. Yeah, I would not be like. I would do heinous things. Yeah, I would be like, oh, I would. I would be. It'd be bad. I don't want to say it on the show. I would hold someone down and keep shitting on their face for a full week. Some people might like that. You never know. You gotta find out their kinks. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'll know. Okay. It's actually disgusting to think about. It is. I need to watch the other two. Do you see all the John Wicks? I've seen the first two. I haven't seen three or four. Too cool? Too cool? Yeah, too sc- they're all good, but like they, they they start to jump the shark a little bit. Jump the shark? Jump the shark. Jump to shark? Jump the shark. What's that mean? You don't know Dave Dave Thomas. Now you don't know jump the shark? Where the fuck have you been living your whole life? You never heard the term Dave jumping? Dave Thomas is crazy. You never, you never heard the term jumping the shark? No. Like when something like in a movie or TV show becomes so unpredictable, like not unpredictable, but like it's just like so over the top that you're just like, oh, this wouldn't happen. And it kind of brings you out of it a little bit. So all the Fast and Furious movies? Yes. Fast and the Furious jumped the shark when like they were fucking like driving like a bank vault over like the Grand Canyon and they landed okay. <laughs> yes, correct. And it came from, a, I think it was an episode of Happy Days in like the 60s where they literally in the episode jumped a shark with skis. <laughs> Got it. I've never heard that term. Is that like a, it's just movies? Uh, movies or TV or like just like general life, you know? Okay. Well, you learn something new every day. Thank you for educating me. I hey, appreciate that's that. That's what bit. we are here for. The Basement Yard, we're here for education purposes. Solely. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But where can they find you, Frank? <laughs> FAlvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on all other forms of social media. And then, like I said, go check out thebasementyard.com. Not only can you find links to our Patreon, which thank you so much for getting us to so close to 28,000, so close if you get us there, bing, bang, boom. Uh, but then also... You can find uh, set up, uh, you know, email alerts so you can get information on possible upcoming shows. There's stuff about merch. There's stuff about just, just, just everything that you want. It's the hub for all of us. So go check it out, thebasementyard.com. And check out The Basement Yard on all forms of social media as we continue into 2024. We got high hopes. We got big old fat dreams. And we're thanking you for helping us get to where we are and continue to get to where we're going to be. <laughs> this kid. Um, go follow me at Joe Santagato. Uh, go to thebasementyard.com slash submit. Don't forget to submit, um, you know, some stuff for the shows. We look forward to seeing all you guys in January and February. And uh, we're going to be booking more shows after that, all right? So go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. All right. Dude, my ass is soaked.